people have recently discovered a new way to play Pokemon Pocket on PC. Now, there are two ways to play Pokemon Pocket on PC. I'm going to go over both of them in this video to help you out if that's what you're interested in. But before I jump into them, the main reason I want to talk about this is because of the new method, which is playing on an emulator called Moo Moo Player 12. This is not a mainstream emulator, but it is an emulator that's existed for a while now. But just to catch those up who don't know, Pokemon Pocket doesn't work on the big emulators. It doesn't work on Bluestacks, and it doesn't work on... Uh, LD player and, and all of the big mainstream emulators you've probably already heard of, those don't run uh, Pokemon Pocket and it's by design. DNA, the company who makes Pokemon Pocket, does something behind the scenes to make it so that these emulators can't run their game. However, Moo Moo Player is unaffected by whatever it is that they're doing to prevent you to play the game. So you can run Pokemon Pocket perfectly fine on Moo Moo Player, and you're going to see me experience that in this video. However, I did some additional research, and I think it's worth noting that Pokemon Masters EX, the other game developed by DNA, does not run on Moo Moo Player. So whatever DNA does behind the scenes to prevent uh, their games from being playable on emulators, they can do it to Moo Moo Player because they've done it with Pokemon Masters EX. My guess is as soon as they are aware of Pokemon Pocket being played on uh, Moo Moo Player, that they'll immediately stop that. I don't think you'll be able to play Pokemon Pocket on Moo Moo Player in the long term, but for now, it's currently working. Additionally, if you're going to use this, I would highly suggest you don't use your main account. I'm not saying that they would ever ban people just because they used an emulator once. However, just because there is a very small chance that they might, even if it's a 0.0001% chance, I would highly recommend not using any money on an account you're running through an emulator, just in case. Again, I don't think that they would ever ban anybody like that, but don't risk it. DNA seems to really, really, really not like emulators. Uh, with that said, uh, I hope one of these two methods work for you. At the end of the day, Pokemon Pocket is a mobile game. They're going to want us playing on mobile. I do hope they give us a PC client in the future, but for now, these are our best solutions to play the game that we love on PC. And as one last PSA, I'm not going to show you how to break terms of service in this video. If you don't have access to Pokemon Pocket, I'm not going to show you how to get access to it in this video. I'm just showing you how, if you do have access to the game, how you can play it on PC. So I've just loaded up Moomoo Player for the very first time. I've literally never touched this before. I'm going to go ahead and accept the end user agreement. And I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and log into a Google Play account. I'm going to skip over this process, mainly because I don't want to show you my Google Play. Okay, now that I'm logged into my Google Play, I can go ahead and download Pokemon Pocket. Now, typically the emulator experience ends here with Pokemon Pocket. Once you launch Pokemon Pocket on the other emulators, it doesn't let you get past the home screen. So let's see how far we get here with Moo Moo Player. We've officially launched the game. Once you get past this screen, the game traditionally crashes on emulators. So I'm curious to see how far we get here. That is the correct date of birth. I'm going to agree to these terms of service. Click OK. I agree to all of this. We will create a new save data. We're going to do it with a Google account. All right, I have successfully created my Pokemon Pocket account. This is pretty promising. Normally it would crash by now. It looks like this is actually going to work. An additional update needs to be downloaded. Yeah, you definitely didn't get this far with the other emulators. So it looks like this is working. Data download complete is promising. Oh my God, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, What is my name? Let's do Willow free to play. Click okay. 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 You can open a booster pack. Well, let's see if I genuinely can or not. Uh, let's do... Uh, I think it's Mewtwo that has Marowak in it. I'm gonna be sad if it didn't. we reset our whole account. Ship it. That's a Bulbasaur. That's a Shelda. That's a Dratini. That's a Sandslash. And that is a Marowak. All right. I don't mean to alarm anybody, but this is working perfectly smoothly. You can open another booster pack. All right, this is my first real booster pack on this account. Wish me luck. Here we are. Zubat, Rhyhorn, Snom, Lickitung, Curlia. Okay, we're so close to the Mewtwo deck. We've already got Curlia. Get our free Bulbasaur alt art. We have access to two more packs. Uh, we have to be account level three before we can do anything else. Let's open our packs. Mewtwo packs are always what I recommend for new accounts. Oh, oh my god! Mewtwo, let's go! Oh my god, please give me both Mewtwo's. That would be crazy. <gasps> no way, what? This 
this account is crazy, by the way. <laughs> uh, okay, well, Mewtwo account acquired. 16 cards unlocked and two of them are Mewtwo EX. Okay, well, that was a bit of an adventure. Okay, I finally finished all the tutorial stuff and now we can jump into solo battles. We're gonna do one solo battle and then one online battle just to ensure that everything is working correctly on the Moo Moo emulator. I'm just gonna play this on auto because I'm too lazy. Okay, a full AI match worked perfectly fine. I was playing on auto. Let's see if an online match works. Even with auto build, it gave me my two Mewtwo's that I own because it was like, these cards are really good, you should run them. Okay, this is my super ultra definitely good deck. Come on, let's completely embarrass our opponent by starting the game with Mewtwo. Starting with Sand Slash. Oh, our opponent conceded. Okay, well, the emulator worked perfectly through that. All right, we're in. Am I going second? No God of War needed. All right, yeah, game's working perfectly fine on Moo Moo Emulator or Moo Moo Player 12. This will not be my primary method of playing the game, either on PC or just in general, but I will definitely use this emulator, that's for sure. All right, this is pretty awesome. I just set my Moo Moo Player to a really weird resolution. I use this custom resolution, and you get to see much more of the screen. This is like looking at it on my iPad, which is really nice, actually. Oh, yeah, look at how much more screen you get compared to what we were just looking at before. This looks so much nicer. And put uh, Mienfu down, I guess. I'll just put it on auto while I yap. Okay, so in conclusion, here's what we can say about Moo Moo Player. It is running Pokemon Pocket perfectly fine. And with some custom settings, you can get the game looking very, very beautiful on your computer. If you really, really want to play on PC, this is how I'd recommend doing it if you want to use emulation. But I actually have a second method for you to play on PC that we're going to go over right now. So there are a bunch of different software that do this, but currently I'm just screen mirroring my um, my iPad. So what you're looking at right now is my iPad, but it's on my computer. The program I'm using is Dow One, but there's also MyView and a handful of other programs. But once you have whatever screen mirroring solution you want set up to your device, you can put your device nowhere near you. Right now my iPad's on my bed. I need nothing to do with it right now, but I'm looking at my iPad screen on my computer. And if I turn on this mouse, you'll see I have a mouse on my iPad screen and I can control it um, however I like. I can go check out my wonder pics and I'm doing this all from my computer. Like I said, my iPad is nowhere near me. It's all the way on my bed. I'm just using screen mirroring software and a Bluetooth mouse uh, to, to play the game. What do I want? Come on, there's gonna be something I can wonder pick for, right? No, honestly, there's nothing I want here. I'm not wasting the one pick resources for it. But yes, this is totally another acceptable way to play the game from your computer. Now, if you're going to do this, I would recommend Dow One because I haven't had any issues with it. I hear a lot of people use MyView, which I heard is completely free. And yeah, those are your options. You've got the Moomoo emulator and you have screen mirroring with a Bluetooth mouse. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that helps you out. Keep being awesome and I'll catch you in the next one.